Feeling Andrew? Oh, pretty hungover. <laughs> Bit of a headache. I think some sunshine might fix. Great. After a few days of sun and fun on Fitzroy Island, we picked up the hook and set sail again. We were headed further east to Milne Reef, which is on the very outer edge of the Great Barrier Reef. The sailing conditions were absolutely perfect and Delos made an easy six knots. It was a good first sail for Andrew to nurse that hangover. We are approaching Milne Reef. Uh, the outer reef just outside of Cairns. We're about 25, 26 miles offshore. Had a pretty good little sail here. And just looking to pick up this uh, mooring out here, so we're gonna have to anchor and damage the coral. How are you feeling, Andrew? Getting ready for my first dive. A bit nervous. Yeah, nervous. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's going to be fun. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's very important. Step of the diving procedure. The coral at Milne was better than most spots we'd seen on the Great Barrier Reef. It was refreshing to see live, healthy coral again. But what really makes these remote reefs special is the abundance of animal life. Within just a few minutes time, we spotted this massive lobster, a sweet little black tip reef shark, and this guy, who wasn't bothered by us in the slightest. How's dive? Oh, it's fucking beautiful, man. Sweet. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. We had a new dinghy waiting for us back in Cairns, and a major provisioning run to do before continuing on, so it was back to the mainland one last time. With good breeze and sails trimmed, we made a short trip of it 
and arrived just in time to receive our new dinghy we've been waiting so long for. That thing is fucking mean. <laughs> are few and far between in far north Queensland and in the Northern Territory, so we provisioned for a month, just enough to get us to Darwin. Is that again? Let's go. Yeah. I found this one. It doesn't need beer. Sweet. Sweet. A little different from the other one. A little more expensive. Gourmet pearl. You want to try some? Yeah. We get like... Gourmet. Oh, oh, instant noodle. Part number three. What's your guess, Kesha? Seven hundred and eighty-two. Seven hundred and thirty-five. I'm gonna go with uh, five ninety-nine. <laughs> Three. I'm gonna do. Oh. I'm gonna do five. I'm going low. I'm going five fifty-five. Should have Clinton. What do you think the total's gonna be, man? <laughs> Yosha was the best guesser at seven hundred and seventy-two dollars. A big shop while cruising is always an adventure. Pushing loaded trolleys through town and down the dock to the dinghy is just part of the day's work. But then the fun really begins. At least we have our new super dinghy to help out. With all our provisions stowed, Delos was finally ready to begin our cruise move. We had about 1,300 nautical miles to cover before reaching Darwin, and about a month to do it. Time to go sailing. Right, up. up next, the cruise sails to Darwin, feasts on sushi, and gives Delos a good scrubbing.